All right, good morning, guys. We are in full go here this morning at CJ Boat. And Bolt had a bright idea, our mechanic, if you don't know who that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so close. He is backing in this new boat that we just got added to the line. And we're keeping this, this trailer is humongous. It's dual duels on each side, triple axle, gooseneck. It's it's huge. This is a this is a yacht, it's a cruiser. It's whatever you want to call it. And he's he had the bright idea of we had enough perfect actually it looks out pretty good but he didn't hit either side of the boat but i think it looked really good so this morning he's like guys let's stick it in the back of the showroom i did want to put it in the showroom because i feel like it, it's going to get a lot of people talking about it like if somebody's just coming in for maintenance they're going to want to come see this big old cruiser so i think it looks really good we could pull it forward a bit to but honestly once he pulls the truck out i feel like it'll it'll fit but i got some computer work to do once these guys get out of here hopefully i'll probably have to air it out so bolts diesel doesn't smoke me out of here and i get lung cancer but we have an appointment today with somebody who you guys know the squad is coming down so he's gonna come down and we have an appointment i don't know what he wants to buy he didn't really say that so i couldn't really get anything ready but i have all my numbers ready to go ian sear garrett bolt cj's actually here as well usually cj isn't here but he should be on his way here this morning he said 8 30 and it's 7 27 so we got an early start here this morning. Hopefully, we, we can sell a boat too. It's just about 8:30, and it looks like it looks like Ian's rolling in, and the squad Grant's supposed to be here any minute. So seems like he's always late anyway. But I'm just finishing up some computer work. Pretty much just waiting on him. I think it turned out pretty good bringing in the cruiser in the back. It kind of filled some of the dead space. I think I can hear the 2032R running in the background. I think CJ's doing some work. Or no, Bolt is planting. I think, oh, Garrett's pulling in this morning too. So CJ's here. He's just looking around the boats, dusting off a few things. And then I think Bolt is actually, I think he's planting the sweet corn. So we'll have to go check in with him sometime today on the sweet corn and see how that's coming. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, CJ. Good morning, Spencer. I think I'll be here today. Yeah, you I did. I mine. saw you. Probably the first time ever. Garrett, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Oh, it looks like, how, did we get a name for our shop dog? Um, I think his name is... uh. I don't know. I don't think we ever named them. We should do we'll some, let some, the viewers decide. Yeah, we could let the viewers decide, but some something boat themed. I feel like would be perfect, like yeah, C like, Ray uh, instead of C J. Roxy, Ooh, like Roxy. Yeah, you know? I don't know. Uh, rocks are rocks bad on for the, boats. Rocks on the water. Rocks uh, are bad. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, it should be a busy day today. Eh? Yeah, we got an appointment with Hopefully. the squad. Actually, did you guys see that? Yeah, yeah. I did see that. He's coming yeah. down. I don't know what he wants. What he what he's supposed to be here any minute. All right. All right. Oh, and then Bolt is. Bolt's playing sweet corn right now. I, I heard him start up the 2032R. So Perfect. For the customers. Yep. He's tilling up the ground right now. Just about to play. He actually went for it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he's doing that. Same. It's not like Bolt. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it's doing work. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I saw you dusting it off. I I got my Swiffer. I was ready to dust a few things up, Good. too. We need to get them nice and clean for when squad comes by. That's know. true. Oh, yeah. Some gotta, nice gotta, boats. We got to sparkle up the place. All right, guys. I just got off the phone with with grant and he's at bolt's house he thought that was the dealership i don't know how he got that address or whatever anyway he's at bolt's house he walked into the door still don't know why he thought that was the dealership and he had to use the restroom now he's in bolt's house using the restroom and he said he ran out of toilet paper and this is all on the phone you know i didn't hang up and he called me back he wanted me to stay on the phone and so he ran out of toilet paper and we had some here and so we had garrett go run over there he he wasn't doing anything so Right now, Garrett's at Bolt's house, giving Grant toilet paper, and they're on their way back, hopefully. So if you hear us talk about what happened earlier, don't be confused. That's I know it's weird, but that's what just happened. Well, it looks like they're pulling in. There's Garrett's RV, so he, he must have let him down here. But he's got a... That looks like a an older Ford body. That looks really clean. I no, I'm not a big flashy guy on the rims and stuff with lifted diesel trucks, but he has... He has a boat with him, so I don't know. I didn't get any information on why he's here. It, he he said he wanted to come in and look at boats, so we'll talk to him here. Hey! What's up, guys? Which one are you, Spencer? Right here. Good morning. Talk to you on the phone. Yep. Did everything, did Garrett get you taken care of? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett came and taken Where's Where's Bolt? I owe him an apology. Uh, where is Bolt, actually? He's uh, planted the sweet corn. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got... Okay. We might have sweet corn for you here in a few months. Okay. Well, yeah, I could, uh... I'm trying to think what I could do. I could uh, I could send him a gift card card to McDonald's or something, like $5 or something, because I did use his restroom. Yeah, Mickey D I think he likes Mickey D's. He's kind of one of those guys, so that would okay. work out good. Okay, just making sure. Okay, um, well, 
here's here's what I got to trade in. I didn't know you were doing a trade in, but yeah, this is this is a big cruiser. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a yacht, God, forty dang. footer. Forty footer. She's got seven hundred horse in the rear. Uh, I mean, she runs like a bat out of heaven. I mean, man. Yeah, no, it looks Jeez. good. I feel Did like you just add that Garmin radar this year, a new one. Yeah, well, we had the other. What was the other boat on the other yeah, side of town? Marina. It was Devil's Wrapper boats, something like that. But yeah, they they installed that for me. Yeah, that's smart. That's you got one that. of those Garmin's on there. But yeah. we should. If so, you're thinking about trading this in? Is that right, Grant? Yep. 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 Okay. Thinking about trading it in. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. What do you guys think you could give me for an offer? I know you get. I know you, some of your guys have to run through it and stuff. Yep. You, you want to take it out on the water? You guys can take it out on the water if you guys need to. Uh huh. Um, I'm trying to think what else. It would. Uh, what year is it? Is it new? It's uh, it's 2008. So she's an old puppy. But okay. uh, tell you what, she still runs like she's brand new. I mean, nothing has changed. That's all that matters. Yeah. It would. Uh, let me think. It would take probably about an hour for us to give you a, a good quote, a good price on it. Something that's fair. We would need to get our mechanic here and then and then for sure take it out on the water. And CJ, I'm sure, would love to be on it too. So CJ's our owner, by the way. Okay. Oh, CJ's the owner. Okay. Yep. Where's CJ at? Right, right there. Uh, right here. Right here. Oh, oh, okay. CJ, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. So and then You're case Ian's... guy, is he case IH guy? Yep, case IH all the way. I don't know. We're buying a ton of John Deere tractors lately, but okay. Case IH okay. is, you know, my personal yeah. favorite. We'll get you a deer hat. Toss on there. And then Ian is another salesman. And then uh, Ian, nice to meet you. How's it going? Another case guy. Yeah, CJ gave me a hat. He said he got it from his buddy that sells okay. case products. Yeah. And then who's this again? This, Sorry, this is Garrett. He's our new hire. And uh, oh, Garrett, Garrett, yeah, yeah. Garrett. He's the yeah, one that we, we met. We yeah, met. <laughs> yeah, we met in an awkward way. Yeah, yeah. yeah a, little, a little awkward. You little pervert. But uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. Garrett's a beautiful guy. Nice guy. Is this? Uh, tell me about your truck over here. This looks really nice. Yeah, it's a '97 F350. She runs good. Uh, it, just bought her from a 17 year old. He said she kept her clean, no burnouts, nothing like that. He said he kept her as clean as heck. So never on the mud or anything. You got some tread wear in the back here. You sure no burnouts? I know that was uh, that was me the other day. Oh, is yeah. this a Cummins? Uh, it has a Cummins in here. Yeah, it's a Cummins. But yeah, it's a Cummins. Got two tanks on it. Yeah, everything. Uh, dang i'm not a big I, I like the rims i get it but yeah no it, it looks really good she's squatting quite a bit for that well that's a lot of weight that boat that yacht there yeah no i absolutely. think that thing weighs in at probably twenty two thousand pounds triple axle dude it's probably on. pushing it might be pushing 30 we never officially weighed it i just assumed okay. it was something like that and are you yeah. are you thinking of downsizing yeah yeah what do you guys have around the lot well say okay, one of you guys could go test it out while we uh while we get looking I'm okay down. we can show you around our showroom I'm sure, CJ, if you... I'm going to go yeah, whistle I'll, at Bolt real quick, and I'm going to get him to, to look at it here, Grant, for you. Okay. I can take yep. it to for a uh, test drive, too, if I need okay. to. Okay, for sure. Let's get Bolt on it, get him looking through the engine and everything. Sounds good. All right, looks like you're good. Let me get the electrical. All right, you're yeah, good. Yeah, I'm going to lower down. There we go. Good. Yep. Okay, can I pull out? Yep, yep. regular. Go for it. Yep. Nicely done. Yeah, Grant, if you just want to park, we got some parking spots over there by our, our trucks. Okay. Yep, I'll pull around there. Man, can't believe your guys' Dodge is squatting so much. Yeah, it's nice. yeah. I'm, she I'm a wife actually pretty surprised too. She is a wife hauler. We had okay, uh, okay. Ian's wife Helga in it last week. So that's no, Charles' child's mm. girlfriend. I don't cheat on. Helga yes. sounds like a sounds like a cute girl. She packs some heat, but yeah, she's a good looker. I don't know what that means. Sounds strong. All right, Grant. So let's just uh, this is our showroom right here. If you wanna just walk around, I'll show you the dealership. Yeah, yeah. So this is where we when you formally come in, say you ever buy something from here. We have receptionists right there, and then that's all our offices. So, uh, yeah, this is where we do all of our work. And running through, we have jet skis, Sea-Doo jet skis, Ranger bass boat, and so this is your bass boat, okay? Yeah, yep, this right one there. is uh, it's a 17 footer. It's got the okay. Yamaha on it, pretty fast. I think it's got a 350 horse motor wow. with a trolling motor. It's pretty pretty nice boat. So, what do you guys price something like this at? Just for reference, uh, it's around fifty-seven thousand base price. Okay. Depending okay. on if you want to buy the trailer and then any upgrades okay. for safety equipment. Wow, looks like a real nice boat. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fast too. You can get to your fishing locations pretty fast. Wow, so we top had... speed on this is probably pushing 60, 70? Yeah, you, you can get sixty-five on a calm day. Wow. I think yeah, I think we ran one of these at sixty-five last week, but we had a semi-pro fisherman actually come down here. Who fishes professionally? Uh, and, really? And he bought one of these, which was really cool. Is it Domischke? 
Parker Domischke? Is he that pro fisherman from around I, here? I think it's Domsky, but yeah. Yeah, no. Parker, he came down here, picked okay. one up. Two weeks ago, I sold him this boat. So he yeah, loves I've been it wanting so to meet that guy. Okay. Okay. Seems cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. And you guys sponsored his boat. Yeah, we, we put a logo on the side, slapped it on there. Yeah, we did a oh, wrap. Wow. So we have a guy who does wraps and stuff. If you're ever interested in that, they're a little more pricey on a boat than a yeah. than a vehicle. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay. But yeah, we got sea dews too. Those are pretty fun. For the kids. So what do you, these are GTRs 215. Okay. These ones are brand 215 new. 215 horse? Two, they're not 215 horse. It's just the model C dude goes by. It's probably a 90 horse motor in it. Okay. But okay. these ones you're pushing upwards of 65, 70. So it's fast. It's a good and toy. So could you pull, okay, say I want to pull a ski or tuber. I could pull something behind jet ski like this. Yep. There's a ski pylon on the back you can mount. And then, yeah, you just pull them. You can go two okay. and all kinds of cool stuff. IBR. That is a break in reverse. Yep. So basically when you're on the water, you're going to be going pretty fast, right? Yep. And uh, there's no brakes on the water, but sea do kind of change the uh, the outlook on that. And th what it does is it reverses the thrust on the back because okay. it's all jet powered, you know? Yep. So it basically just slams it in reverse, but it's jet powered, so it doesn't matter. You're not slamming okay, the shaft okay, drive. Okay, okay. So, so it yeah. reverses it, and then okay, I see, I see, I see. It's like a break, yeah. It's pretty cool. And what are, what are these going to cost me? Something like this. This will cost you. Uh, this is brand new, probably around fifteen thousand, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, yeah. Okay, including the trailer. Yeah, trailer okay. is around two thousand. These are pretty nice trailers. And you guys have a squad squad built trailer, or yep. the squad built trailer? Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's wow. made. It's really nice steel metal. Okay. Pretty, yeah. Pretty sturdy. Okay, what else you got me? I'm not sold yet, boys. All right, this is our cigarette um, sport boat. This is a real good one. Uh, Garrett actually owned one before, and uh, he said it ran well, but he ended up totaling it. But uh, yep. it's a really cool boat. It's got headlights on the bow up here, so you can go out at night. It's got nav lights. you can got radar. Pretty much everything. you got a cabin down below. Okay, yeah. Could I jump in it? Yep. Uh, yeah, back, definitely. Backside. Yep. Is there a ladder? Yep. Okay. Here. There you go. There's a hand. Oh wow. Here. Yeah. Come check these seats out. They're pretty cool. Wow. From back here. Yep. I'll give you a yep. hand. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. There you go. <sighs> wow. This is nice. Oh, whoa. oh, get off! Get off! Get off! She's dipping. Oh my whoa. goodness. My gosh. Was that the? Is it strapped well, on the trailer? Too much, well, I think we had too much weight on the back there. Okay, we had way too much weight on the back, and the trailer just lifted up there. Oh, get Ian, off! Get do, off! Do we not have here? We don't have the strap on here. Oh, that explains it. Yep. Let me crank there it in go. real quick. There we go. Okay. Anyways, so one percent time on it, or is it? I think we're good. It's strapped on. There's okay. no okay. way. Just There's... put your weight on the middle of the trailer instead yeah. of everything on the back, I guess. Yeah. So uh, the controls here are pretty fast. These are racing controls. So okay. uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. You got all your gauges and stuff, so you can go get all your technological advances. And how many right horses is she pushing? Uh, this has got one Mer Cruiser. I think it's a 250 horse, so it's it's upwards 80 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna cost me. Uh, around 59,000. So it's it's actually okay. similar to the the bass boat, but the problem is the bass boat's got a really pricey motor on it. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Were you, okay. Grant? Were you thinking? Do you have kids and stuff that you're taking the boat out for, or like, what's your? Are you say leisure? Is it party? Is it uh, speed that you're looking for? I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, uh, let's see, we have one daughter, four, and then uh, we have uh, I have a son. What is he? Is he seven or is he 15? <laughs> seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Chad That's and Brad. Fun. So those two, Chad those and... two, those two, uh, those two really enjoy the outdoors. And, so four and I mean, seven. And I'm sure they're going to want to be tubing and doing all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, the, those those little truckers, they love getting tossed around on the tube. I mean, we dumped them off. I've dumped them pretty hard. One time we were going with that yacht, and we were dumping, and, and we are going along the edge, and whoop, what do you know? They're on the land. I look back, and they are on the land, Did and then they just smoke a tree. Yeah, and they, they loved it. They loved really? it. Really? Four and seven hit a tree yeah. a few years. Tree. Yeah, they, oh. they loved it. They're like, Dad, let's go again, you know? The, well, let's send me off the boat ramp so, so more horsepower yeah. the better is what i'm hearing yeah so we they could handle anything you know yeah that's perfect well that is you're gonna have all that in this cigarette boat it'll be it'll fly yeah yeah but the only thing is what's the price on this yeah. 59 59 okay okay ask so maybe we'll get a little lower okay we'll see what we can work with let's let's see it let's oh whose boat is this is this customers boats that are being worked on right now or Nope. These are storage. Uh, it's where okay. we store boats too, so you can keep your boat here in the winter. 
Oh, wow. So you iron this boat back here, Grant. This is wow. what we call the banana. It's already got its name. Okay. It's on wow. the back there. It says the banana, and it's a closed bow, just like the last one. Very similar. It has 300 horses. Is that ready, in? So just... Uh, two, 250. Yeah, you're close. Okay. I think it's a step up from the one we just looked at. Actually, yeah, yeah I think you're right. Yeah. We Remember did order force, so. big motor. Okay. And so the interior, let me jump on the back. Yep. Be careful. Somebody hold down the front or something. It's locked right. up. <laughs> Make sure it's they, strapped up. Yep, it's strapped. Yeah, it we're is. Good. We're good. Okay. We're good. They, uh, so it's the same. Okay. Yep. It's the same, same horse setup. as the red one. Nope. Everything's same. 50 more horsepower. 50 more horse. This is, yep. But just different color. Okay. Yeah. They'll yep. see it from a mile away going oh, wow. 90. Look at this, man. Perfect. Wow. I mean, it's like you're driving a car. Live, come sit in the seat. Sit in the seat. Oh, gosh. Put those Corvette, cushions Corvette on there. There you go. Oh, wow. So it's smooth. I mean, you're going to be hitting those waves like it's nothing. You'll be on plane. I can just imagine it now. Wow. We can do that for you here today. We can take you on a test drive uh, for sure. Could I take this out of the waters? Absolutely. This is boat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you like Not the color well. scheme and stuff? I do. I do. Now, keep in What's mind up? the bottom The bottom is going to be underneath the water. It will be a little okay, bit more maintenance. So, Go ahead. So it's the same price as the other one, $59,000, right? Mm, with the, no, it's a little more. Yep. The, oh, uh, okay. 65 three-ish you're getting an extra 50 horsepower okay. and the kids are only getting older grant and they're only going to hit more trees and they're going to hit you know what i mean you're going to want yeah. more horsepower so you'll get you'll get better resale too because you'll have a bigger and newer motor okay mm -hmm. okay yeah. okay we'll have to give uh brad and joe a call i know i know brad sometimes she gets real picky about the colors so get them a sea do they'll be happy yeah that's brad. what i was thinking i was thinking we could get we get a sea do and then we could get we get uh we get this boat too and is your what is your wife thinking on all this? Brad's pretty picky, and Brad's, Brad's a picky. she. You're saying? Yeah, Brad? yeah. What? All right. Uh, uh, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. I might. I may just take my business somewhere else. No, 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 no. No, 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 no I, it's, I thought it, Brad was your son. Great name. And then have a problem with that. Nope, nope. No problem at all here. Nope. I okay. think Ian's I daughter's thought. name is uh, Steve, actually. So yeah, yeah. Steve's growing up. That's cool. Here, so. It all works you don't out, see man. Many, that's that's cool. You don't see many families like that, and I know it's kind of an issue. So I appreciate you guys. Responding. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. understand the whole. You know, I'll grab the the wheel loader and I'll get you in the water if you want to try it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's all do right. it, guys. I'll be back in a sec. I'm gonna run this jet ski. So if we ever want to switch, okay. And then be careful. There's there might actually, guys. Is there a cop out there this morning? Yeah, yeah I saw one. Okay, be careful there. Pull over to the dock so you guys can jump in. Uh, sure. Yep, yeah, pull over. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Maybe just pull forward a bit there. Okay. Just a bit. Yeah. You're good. It's okay. cinched up. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Okay. Jump on in, anywhere. boys. How was it for you? It was good. It was good. Yeah, run. jump on in. Real good. I, <laughs> tell you what, this thing runs. I mean, she runs. I think, oh, yeah. you know, I, before I knew it, I was doing probably 50 miles an hour there, and then I saw a cop. Oh, the cops mess around out there, too. But, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh, we must be speeding. Is there a speed limit across the lake? This like there is most times there's not. Okay. If you see a cop, there is. If there is no cop, this lake's pretty small, so you know if there's one out there. I'll take her. It's got to be the right price though. We we can work some things out, cause Grant, you were looking at uh, the sea dew, right? Yeah, I was looking at the sea dew. I was looking to trade some things in. Do you guys have a trade in value on that uh, that yacht? I think here comes actually turn yeah. around. Here comes the owner. Me and Bolt were just uh, looking up and assessing the the yacht, and I think we can give you about ninety thousand for it. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good. I think we can work with that. We can uh, we can work around with some numbers, whether it's trading value going higher or uh, a discount on these. So, okay, say CJ, say you give me ninety thousand for it. What yes, would you 90, give me? Ninety thousand. Okay, and you have that that uh, the banana. Let's call it listed at fifty nine thousand. Fifty nine thousand. Yeah, fifty nine thousand. Okay, and the and the CD. I'd like to take the CD. And the CD is listed at what? Fourteen K. Fourteen. So it's seventy three thousand dollars and ninety. You could get uh, two ski doos or two sea doos. I mean, not ski doos. We're not snowmobiling. Yeah, we'd be at eighty seven. Could do okay. some uh, two. We could we could do some. Okay, let's do some math here. How about if we do two sea doos? I buy the banana. We do eighty k, and you give me ninety k trading value. Mm, no, I don't think we can do that. How about like eighty five k? So you'll. 85k and you'll hand me 5k cash i'll hand you 5k cash so you're discounted 2000 on everything at 85 for two two c and the yeah. banana and then we're yeah. giving you 94 
94 though for your trade if you want to sit on that we have i got the cdu running actually right now it's ready to go yeah let me and give me a couple minutes guys let yep. me go let me go think all right guys what are you thinking i have a few ideas but i want to hear what you guys uh about which like just do you think would you what do you think he's thinking i, I, think, I hope he buys it um i think we should put that 5k that cj would pay him towards like service because yeah we have 5k mm -hmm. just to give for a boat we're basically losing money at that point yeah, yeah well i think it doesn't make much sense for him to get the 5k yeah we could give him a 5k you know service credit card. yeah yep mm -hmm. honestly like seeing him seeing him on the water he's gonna crash the thing pretty quick so we yeah. definitely definitely more money our way service than maybe should we, we should probably go ask him what he thinks of that yeah here he comes here he comes all right so uh we sort of discussed uh what we're gonna give you and we were thinking instead of giving you five thousand dollars since you know it's not that much just to hand over we could just give you a five thousand dollar credit towards service in the future for when you uh run the boat into your tree okay okay do you guys have an, speaking of that do you have insurance insurance so i'm gonna need insurance i'm gonna need insurance uh yeah. we don't do insurance but we uh we, we have a company that yeah we go through yeah, and we have we very good a, connections we get okay. a discount for you at their okay. uh, an agency we'll talk about that later what i'm thinking is that works good let's do Seven, we'll do full trading in 7K service credits because the service credits, I'm going to be doing business with you guys. You guys are going to be making a little money off that most likely. So with 7K service credits and uh, 7K service credits, straight up trade. Would that How work about out? 6K service credits? Done deal. See yeah. you. All right. Shake I on like it. You, man. I like you. There you go. Yeah, give me a little elbow. Here you go. Yep. Gotcha. That dang good American. That dang good American handshake. Boat. Yep. You still haven't met the Bolt water too. wasn't the water wasn't running at Bolt's house. I couldn't, I couldn't wash my hands. You couldn't wash oh. your hands at Bolt's house and yeah, he, um, he turns off told us that a bit earlier. Oh no, I washed my hands here. I yeah, I, when I got here, I used your guys' rest. All right, we got the sea do all loaded up. I'm just scooting back here. I want to put it in the front form, get a nice display for it. I'll get the two out front. I'm just thinking. I wonder how he's gonna get these home. We. The good thing is everybody's here today, so like CJ really doesn't technically have a job if if he were to drive one of them and then maybe like Garrett could drive one to his house. So at least Ian and I are here if if more clients come in. What was good is this he was the only one here at the dealership. Sometimes we have two, three people looking at boats, and I guess that's why we have two or three salesmen, but that just turned out good that we didn't have our hands all tied and we could all tend to uh tend to grant there. I'm gonna go get another C do in the back and I think we'll be good to go. Ian's going to do the paperwork. We'll set up the insurance with them, help out with that. What's nice is with this trade-in, which um, CJ CJ did pretty good for him. I think CJ priced it pretty good, and I, th I, th I think that'll turn out. Hopefully, we can get it sold here soon. We haven't done a trade-in yet, which is interesting. Usually, we don't do directly trade-ins. A lot of people like to do their own private sales because usually it doesn't depreciate as much, or they can get the better deal, but... It's our first trade in. It'll be interesting to see how quick we get it out of the lot. All right, Grant, thanks for stopping by. I'm sure we'll be in contact. If you need anything, email number, you got all that stuff. So, and you can always come back. Okay, perfect, Spencer. Appreciate the business. If you if you want to come back and meet Bolt, he's going to be here if you ever need yes, any maintenance. Tell him, tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. We will. We really do. We will. We'll, well, actually, I'm not going to tell him about you being at his house. I kind of want to get that text when he gets home. Okay. So. Okay. Thanks, Spencer. Yep. See ya. We'll see it. All right, guys. They're off. The biggest sale in CJ Boats history. It turned out... I think it turned out pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know by smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And then I will uh, I will pretty much just see you guys in the comments if if you did enjoy. If you guys have any feedback, I will... I read, I read every single comment for the most part. So always feel free to comment. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And I'll see you in the next one.